welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can support our great leader Mazen Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network is a Middle Belt leaders and youth cries out and beg IPOB and Eastern Security Network for mercy for not listening to Mazen Namdekano when he exposed the Fulani Nigerian government's genocide plans. The Middle Belt leaders and youth cries out that they will be wiped out from their ancestral lands by the Fulani terrorists if IPOB and Biafrans refuse to rescue them because Eastern Security Network are their last hope. These are unity beggars. They are unity beggars. They allow the Fulani Nigerian government to use them against Biafrans. Since the genocide Nigerian civil war against Biafra, where over 5 million Biafrans lost their lives for committing no offense, and now that they are at the receiving end, they are running to Biafra for help. But IPOB advised the Middle Beltans to defend their communities like Biafrans are doing in Biafra land. They should ask their sons and fathers in the Fulani controlled Nigerian military to resign so that they can help them fight the Fulani Janjaweed because if Biafra helps them, they will turn around against Biafra as they did during the 1967 to 70 genocide Nigerian civil war. They all turned their back against Biafrans and they were the ones the Fulani Janjaweed were using to commit atrocities. But they were decimated if not for the help of the British and the Russian government and other international communities and the Arab nations that came to support the Fulani controlled Nigerian military. But this time around, every man will answer for himself. You know, according to reports, IPOB tells the Middle Belt, Kaduna, and Plateau communities, defend your communities like we do in Southeast. IPOB condemned the position of the Kaduna state governor, Ifulani Janjaweed, Nasiru Erofai, despite the violence perpetrated against people in Southern Kaduna by the Fulani terrorists. IPOB has urged Nigerian youths to unite and defend their territories against the activities of Fulani terrorist bandits and other Fulani terrorists in Nigeria. They should team up, unite, and fight against these terrorists. IPOB also condemned the incessant attacks and killings going on in Southeast region by the criminal Nigerian DSS disguised as unknown gunmen. IPOB strongly condemns the senseless and incessant attack, abduction, killings, and all manners of criminalities in the Southeastern states, especially the recent barbarities in Imo State, Anambra State, and other states of the regions of Southeast and South South regions, by the criminal Nigerian DSS disguised 
as unknown gunmen. IPOB again wants to inform the world that IPOB and Eastern Security Network members had no hands in the attacks, contrary to baseless allegations by the enemies of Biafra. IPOB are not involved in the criminal activities of agents of darkness in Biafra land. IPOB members are civilized people and are never involved in the barbarities going on in Biafra land. Anybody linking IPOB or Eastern Security Network with these devilish activities is a blackmailer. IPOB is not unknown gunmen, and they cannot be. IPOB on, is only after their mandate, which is to protect Biafran communities, bushes, and farms against the Fulani terrorist jihadists masquerading as Fulani killer headsmen, killing, maiming, and raping our mothers, wives, and sisters going to farms. IPOB will not tolerate such nonsense anymore. It is now clear to all that the Fulani terrorist bandits are out to eliminate every single individual or group in Santa Kaduna. Yet, the Fulani terrorist governor is still looking for excuses instead of going after the Fulani terrorists bandits killing his subjects ipob therefore urge middle belt particularly the people of southern kaduna jaws and the people of nasara youth who allow their parents and children to be slaughtered like chickens ipob therefore encourage the youth to come out and defend their land otherwise the fulani terrorists masquerading as bandits now will finish them. They already know that Biafran youths will not allow them any breeding ground in Biafran territories. All indigenous communities in Nigeria must unite against these vampires now before it's too late. We should not allow the Fulani terrorists to succeed in their evil mission. They know that time is running out on them. And that is why they are on the prowl again, causing havoc, killing and maiming, kidnapping. While in Biafra land, they are using their criminal DSS in conjunction with who place who's are dangerous hoodlums to commit atrocities like the one that happened in Imo State, where the Afrans who went to register at INEC were shot by unknown gunmen who are criminal DSS. They disguised as unknown gunmen and started shooting people. And hopeless who's of danger is the one to be blamed. Because he's the one allowing the full and the to commit atrocities in evil states. Haven't they killed enough Biafrans? They have. They have spilled so much blood. Biafra must be free, no matter what the full and the plan is. All their evil plans will crumble because Chuko Kikabiyama has ordained Biafra to be restored. And Biafra is a spirit. No man born of a woman can stop Biafra's restoration. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.